the Honorable Member for Brandon East. Uh, thank you and good afternoon, Madam Speaker. I rise in the House today to both bring awareness to a Brandon effort and to congratulate a group of like-minded individuals for their caring and drive to help make the City of Brandon a better community. I speak at the Brandon Bear Club, or pardon me, Bear Clan, Madam Speaker. This citizen-run patrol organization, which currently has 15 Grandmother Council members, has been organizing since January. I have had the distinct pleasure of attending a number of meetings in the past few months and recently participated in a very heartfelt ceremony to kick off this well worth project. I have had the personal pleasure of attending the pipe ceremony that served as a means to start the Brandon Bear Clan Patrol in a good way. Teachings from Indigenous knowledge keepers inform us that like a mother bear protects her cubs, the Blair Bear Clan is responsible for protecting their people. I have learned that traditionally people of the Bear Clan live outside of the village to ensure the safety of the gentler clans inside the village. It is with this teaching at the heart of what we, pardon me, of what they do, the Bear Clan Patrol operates in our province and across our nation. Madam Speaker, I want to recognize the passion and vision of Tammy Hosack, the Aboriginal Head Start Coordinator for the Brandon Friendship Centre. Her efforts in creating this conversation with the community has eventually led to the start of the, the local Bear Clan. It is an important step in community building. Starting on June 2nd, Madam Speaker, members of Brandon's first Bear Clan Patrol group will set foot on Brandon's streets. The Bear Clan Patrol volunteers will be walking the streets after dark, providing a presence that promotes safety, conflict resolution, and crime prevention while looking out for the city's missing and most vulnerable. Madam Speaker, I would like to point out that Mr. James Favell, the Executive Director of the Bear Clan Patrol Incorporated, who was very instrumental in the establishment of the Brandon Bear Clan, is with us today. Also, Madam Speaker, I know I now ask all members here to join me in recognizing Brandon Bear Clan President Roberta McKinnon and her team of volunteers for their dedication to the betterment of the City of Brandon.